Hi, and welcome back. So in the previous video, we modeled this here as a uh, replacement for a broken identical version that I have in my hand here. And in this video, I'd like to go through how to um, set this up in G2Box so that it prints properly. Um, so in order to get this I guess moved over into G2Box, which I have open here. We're going to need to export this file. And I like to do file, and you come down here and export. And it wants us to actually just select something. So we'll select that one and export. And we want to export as an STL down here. And this all looks fine. I'm just going to modify the name here and get rid of this body and shall save that and then I'll hop over to a cheat to box here and I'll see if I can open this and here it is in cheat to box and let us see so first things to think about are if you print it like this you know you get some major overhangs so I'd like to print it, obviously, you know, we're going to end up with overhangs no matter what, right? If we print it like this, we get overhangs up here. Um, you know, if we, if we rotate this um, 90 degrees, oops, I guess that's the, the other direction. We do this, right? We get uh, overhangs on the bottom. So that's no good. Um, you could rotate it another 45 degrees. I guess another 180 degrees. So this looks good, but you, uh, you know, you get overhangs in the bottom here, up there, just the other way. So I don't see any, any obvious way of, of not getting any overhangs. Um, I do suppose you could print this at a 45 degree angle, um, at which point you wouldn't have many overhangs, but you would have the threads overhanging. Um, you can see the thread here is completely overhanging, and that is absolutely no good. Um, so we won't be doing that. And for the rest of this, you know, I'm thinking about what's uh, what's important. You know, what could possibly go wrong, and I think that this thread up here is the most important to get right, followed by the thread on the bottom. Um, so I think I'm going to. 3D printed just like this. Um, although, you know, you do get a big overhang here, but uh, this section of the thread is fully supported and uh, that, you know, is a pretty big concern. Um, and then this section in here is, uh, I guess, more supported by the walls. So I think that'll be, that'll be okay. So I'm gonna come over here and uh, add some I supports. I guess I always start with the the heavy supports for basically everything. And I'm gonna add everywhere and we'll see where it puts them. And let's see, for whatever reason, it's it's put this model really close to the, uh, the build plate. So I'm gonna actually move this model up off of the build plate. Um, just a little bit, because it seems like it's it's pretty close. Maybe I'll just edit this directly. Um, come back over here, and we will add everywhere. Yes, we'll remove the supports. And if we look on the bottom, it's kind of, you know, haphazard in here. It does look like it's supporting all the way around on the inside though, and it is supporting some amount on the top. If I drag this up here, we're good. Um, I do have concerns about the uh, support on the sides. You know, obviously the sides are not going to be a, you know, a big concern for, I guess, delamination or, or overhangs, but they will tend to, I guess, bow in and out, I think. Um, that, is, that is a concern I have. So I'll, I'll add some extra supports 
on the insides here and I'll probably add some more supports kind of for this overhang bit um, because it is it is like a perfect overhang so if there's not any supports around the inside here you're just kind of gonna end up with some some trouble so I'll uh, I'll switch over I think for this inside section here I'll use the heavies um, I'll just put in a few you know it's it's I feel like, you know, with these models, it's better to have too many supports than uh, than not enough, you know, because I don't care about uh, how this thing looks, you know, when you rip the supports off. Maybe if you had, you know, like some kind of uh, D and D figure or something that you cared about how it looked, maybe you'd uh, you'd worry about putting too many supports in. But I don't care, so I'm gonna put supports everywhere. And I guess the important thing here for this is supporting on the edges. So the internal edge and then the outside edge is supported by the rest of it. And the rest of this stuff will, will just have to, uh, you know, overhang between the two. But that should be, that should be, you know, doable for it. That's not, that's not crazy overhang. It will probably end up a little bit uh, like warped or under uh, extruded or something. So a little bit funky, but that's to be expected and that should be fine. This thing is, is much thicker than, than what we would need. And then for this bottom section, um, I'm gonna put in some extra supports on the inside and the outside, just to give it a, a little bit of more support. You might say that this is over supporting, but you know, it's a, it's a judgment call that uh, you can make and, and I am making it here. So now that that is looking pretty good, um, I'm gonna put some some supports kind of on the inside section here. So maybe like three supports every 45 degrees or so. Um, I think that's a good uh, a good amount. Obviously, these supports aren't super accurate, so I'll just do uh, 90 degrees approximately here, and then some in the middle. And hopefully this uh, stops it from from bowing if it was going to bow or you know any of that type of stuff. And then uh, on the outside, um, not not too many concerns on the outside. I might add in just a, a few extra supports to give it some some extra stability. Um, while it's down here at the bottom, although I, I'm sure these don't do all that much. So we'll do something like, like this. And uh, I'll come back to the, uh, the editor here and I'll move this support just a little bit closer to that one so that they're connected. Okay. And I'll do this probably uh, three places around the outside. Um, I don't think these are super necessary, but you know I'd rather have them than 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 not have them. So looking at out here, and then uh, one more here approximately all righty and then uh, that's looking looking pretty good um, i did notice that i missed a support completely right here so i'll come back over here and we'll edit this one move you over here this guy here Okay, looking better. This one seems a bit high, so we'll move them down a bit. And uh, maybe maybe we move these guys up a bit. And then we've got to adjust their connections.
Okay, looking pretty good. So I'm going to uh, save this. And then I'll slice it. And we'll take a look at the sliced version. Uh, and I mean, I'm expecting that it looks uh, pretty, pretty okay. Um, but obviously, we'd like to see the island, so I'm going to use the uh, the Find Island Layers button. You can see the detecting islands here at the bottom. I think this normally takes quite a bit of time. We'll see if we have any any super crazy islands that we should uh, get rid of. Alrighty, so it looks like it's done here. Um, and show island layers. If we click the down button, it doesn't go anywhere. So it looks like it didn't find any islands. This this is kind of nice, but it's not uh, the most user friendly. And I am noticing kind of a an interesting connection here. Um, so let's make sure that that is looking okay in our layers. So even, I guess, even though it looks funky um, over here in the layers, it, it is looking just fine. Um, so I don't think that's too much of a concern. It does appear to be that that is uh, related to our, our cut um, for our, uh, I guess, thread tool that we did before. So maybe we'd want to uh, back the thread tool off of our surface just by a little bit and stop this kind of thing from occurring. But it uh, doesn't seem to be causing any troubles for this. So I didn't see any, any changes that we need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, save this to a flash drive and I'll, I'll print it out and uh, I'll see you in the next video and uh, we'll see if this thing is uh, functional. So, uh, you know, have a, uh, have a nice day and I hope you, uh, you learned something from this.